This is where I do my kind of tweaking of my magic to make it sound good for each evening. It's so hot in here, I have two fans that I have to put on straight away to get the room circulating. And then these are the amp racks. These are the crossovers, which basically split the sound frequencies of mid, highs and lows, which we can control and tweak from here. We can even control it remotely from our room or in the office or even in, in the booth itself. I've been kind of into sound and this music scene since uh, 88, so I, I know the house sound, I know the, the lyric sound, I've done my own parties, um, then from there I've went, kind of moved to doing like festival production, sound on stage, and studied a, a bit later on. We're using the void air motions for our high mids and, and tops, and we've got eight all around the club. Years ago we used to turn up in a truck and have multi-track tape machines and all kinds of things to record uh, live sets everywhere. Now it's got a lot easier. Tonight we're here um, to record an essential mix which will probably go out in about two weeks time as part of Radio 1 weekend. The good thing about Sankey's is that the, the low roof in here actually gives us quite a nice audience sound. It's quite well spread across the club and uh, it doesn't mix in with a lot of uh, reverberation. different formats, so some one DJ might start to play with the CDJs, the next one he might come on, he might want to play vinyl. Um, this kind of has an effect of the sound quality down there, which is why you see me running around, is I'm, I'm kind of EQing the difference from vinyl to CDJ, and depending on even, even the kind of style and sound of uh, music that they play, you know? Fuse kind of have this more sub-driven, clear highs and, and, and mid-frequencies out there. They prefer the sound to be quality rather than quantity. The sound system and the basement lend itself to, to, to what, what, what we do here. It's got that intensity. It's, it's, a, it's a smaller room in there than, than most of the other clubs on the island so uh, so you can really get into the sound and really feel it. I really enjoy working with Enzo because he's really passionate about what he wants out there for, for his night, you know, how, how it should be sounding. Um, hence I do all the adjustments that I do um, in there. I mean the, the, the room is perfect, the sound's great. I think uh, this room is the, one of the best void setups that we have on the island. Mate, you alright? Yep. 
I do work for Sankis every day. Yeah. Maybe you saw me doing the lights sometime, but I'm doing the sound as well. What I'm doing is changing the monitoring system in the lab. And because it's a special night, we have Dan Tenaya playing a six hour set. This year we made a lot of improvings, especially in the lab. Um, as you can see there, all the panels, there are acoustic treatments. We've dropped it down by uh, about um, 18 inches, filled it with foam. Um, tried to add a few angles as well. The same DJ could sound different from one week to the next, you know, because of the environment. If the environment changes, then the sound changes. I know David for years since, you know, Sankey's Manchester and getting it all around to all the different places, so he definitely uses some of my advice on, you know, how to make the club feel good and everything like that. So he's listening to a DJ, so that helps. You know, a lot of other clubs, I don't think they're listening to a DJ, they're listening to their pockets. I'm taking credit. I'm taking credit for helping them out get this together.